Hello everybody, my name is Clarissa Cantu and I am the County Extension Agent for 4-H and Youth Development and we will be going over talking with children about COVID-2019. So we want to go ahead and let you all know that of course right now everybody's being affected by this, especially our kids and children may worry themselves about their family, their friends, why they're not going to school. So we, these are a few ways that we can go ahead and talk to them about that. So here are a couple of things to keep in mind when talking to your children. Make sure that you remain calm with them. You don't want to stress them out in any way and you want to reassure them that we are taking the best precautions we can to protect them and, and your family. You want to make yourself available to listen and talk to. Try to answer their questions as best as you can. Avoid language that might blame others. So just make sure that you're letting them know that everybody's doing what they can to help prevent this from spreading any further. Pay attention to what children see or hear on television, radio, online, or your com or conversation. Um, you want to make sure that whatever they are listening to is accurate and you don't want, like I said, you don't want it to stress them out even more. And make sure that the information provided to them is accurate as well. And you also want to teach your children everyday actions to reduce the spread of germs. For example, washing your hands, making sure you clean surfaces like doorknobs and things that are touched on a daily basis to kind of help prevent that from spreading. All right, so the ideas we have for you all to do with your children at home is making sure that you schedule their activities. You wanna make sure that everything is kind of planned out for them throughout the day so that they don't fall out of having that schedule as they would have if they were going to school. You wanna try and have games with them to keep them engaged at home, keep their brain moving and keep them going on, you know, making sure that they don't lose track of that any kind of sciences that you can incorporate at home, maybe doing any at-home science projects with YouTube videos, anything educational for the kids to do hands-on will, will really help them out. And maybe any skills that you can teach them. For example, how to do their laundry, how to clean their room properly, chores around the house, things that you wouldn't have had the time to really teach them. Now is the time to go ahead and have your kids learn those skills, especially household skills, because that will benefit them in the future. And all of this information that we are providing is from the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Thank you so much for viewing this, and we hope you all be safe and stay healthy.